How do the tissues and organs of plants and animals grow into their diverse yet recognizable shapes? Advances in genetics have identified many genes that shape the forms of organisms. We want to know how do genes act to shape form. Leaves can be simple in shape, as in Arabidopsis thaliana, which has leaves with small outgrowths called serrations, or complex and divided into distinct leaflets, as in closely related Cardamini hirsuta. Leaves in both of these species arise from small buds that are virtually indistinguishable, but these grow differently to create different leaf forms. It is difficult to understand how these different shapes are produced, as many cell growth patterns can produce similar final forms. To understand how diverse leaf shapes emerge, we need to know how different genes control the amount, direction and duration of cellular growth. To address these challenges, we used an interdisciplinary approach combining genetics with advanced imaging and computational analysis. We developed an imaging method that allowed us to measure growth in both species and in plants with altered activity of genes known to influence leaf shape. Then, to compare the growth of these plants, we identified equivalent cellular populations in different samples and evaluated how they contribute to growth. Finally, to clarify how local genetic control influences shape, we employed computational frameworks that connect growth to changes in form. Together, these approaches show that outgrowths in both species are generated by the same basic patterning mechanism. This mechanism involves the hormone auxin and the transcription factor CAC, which create alternating areas of fast and slow growth perpendicular to the main axis of the leaf. How then does the same patterning mechanism make outgrowths into shallow teeth in Arabidopsis, but large distinct leaflets in Cardamini? The culprits here are two homeobox genes that are active in leaves of Cardamini, but not Arabidopsis. Until now, it was unclear how they affect cellular growth to shape leaf form. We found that the first gene, called RCO, only acts locally, repressing growth around outgrowths, making them deeper. The other gene is called STM and acts more broadly. While it likewise represses growth, STM also prolongs it. This allows outgrowths to grow longer, giving rise to large leaflets. Both genes make leaf shape more complex, but act very differently on growth. Guided by these findings, we then converted the simple leaf of Arabidopsis into a complex shape closely resembling cardamini by introducing expression of both RCO and STM in its leaves. We deconstructed complex leaf development into its cell level elements and used this information to transfer this trait into a different species. This helps demonstrate the predictivity of our interdisciplinary approach. This information may also help us build more efficient crops by tinkering with organ growth patterns.